So Adrian, you know the field of eco-psychology as well as anyone I think in the UK. Um, who are some of the big names in this field? Well the guy that really kicked it off for me was a guy called Rob Greenaway who's written about something called The Wilderness Effect. Uh, and I, when I was reading that I was actually living out in the woods and it was getting, it was happening to me. I read this, this chapter and then like a couple of months later was saying, well this is weird, I'm getting that happening to me. What? So he was, he's really crucial. What's that effect? It's called The Wilderness Effect. Uh, the Wilderness Effect, uh, what happened with Rob, he was um, teaching at the university and he started taking students out into the, into the wilds for days on end, sort of, you know, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. And after about three days, something really odd started happening to people. They started to, to shift their consciousness. They get really kind of uncomfortable and antsy, missing their mobile, their phones and their showers and all that stuff. And then they got over that, their dreams started to change, became more, more, um, more exciting and more dynamic. They began to, to connect much more with each other. They were getting spiritual experiences. Um, addiction started to drop away. A whole load of stuff started to happen with these people. Um, mm. Really amazing. And the Ordnance Effect has been recorded and researched massively since he first came across it. And who else is involved in this kind of movement? Uh, my next person I came across was a woman called Mary Jane Rust, who's one of the big names in the UK, eco psychology. She's a Jungian um, psychoanalyst. Um, she's edited a couple of books on it and has, and has been quite a quite a key player in the, the UK eco-psychology movement. Um, Andy Fisher, he's a really interesting guy, wrote a book called Radical Eco-Psychology, which he, and he just put out a revised version of that. That's a kind of a as the name might suggest, it's a new take on the whole field, trying to get back to the roots of it and trying to really nail down a particular way of looking at it that's, that's quite new. Uh, Nick Totten, an embodied psychotherapist, he's trained with Reich and he's brought a very embodied dimension to the whole of eco-psychology. Um, I could go on, there's, there's probably another dozen or so names.